Here we go. Deviant continuity here for for count, uh, counter escapes. Okay, so I'm gonna show you here a nice one. Okay, one I learned on wrestling practice. A really good, really good. Works for me. Great. So check this out. My guy gonna be holding my body here. Okay, I just showed you uh, dropping the knee here, right? And flat, uh, and putting pressure on the grip till it breaks. So what I'm gonna do here is a little different, right? So when I'm here, I don't want to keep my feet parallel. I want to be more on the side in the situation here. So this leg here, I'm going to step in through his legs, right? So I'm here, look. Uh, once he got here, through the leg. So I'm going to roll his grip, top grip here out so I can break. Of course, I'm going to give some hip here. And also I'm going to turn around, drop and hold the knees, right? And then I hit the shot right away. Right away, okay. So my guy gonna hold here, gonna hold his hands here, start working on the break, step big, force my hips forward here till I feel the relief, drop down and grab. All right, you just shoot from there, just pull the knees up. You are gonna drop, okay. So another shot here. Juni, you're gonna go to my back. Boom here, gonna open my leg between his legs. Gonna break his grip. I'm uh, gonna turn around, drop, hold, right, and drop him down on the shot. Simple like that, okay? So, a couple more here. Junior goes, now he's low here, trying to get a better base, get a better balance here, okay? Step, whatever side feels easier. Okay, don't have to be your side or this or that. Whatever on the situation that feels easier. Grips here. Oh, bump my hips to break. Turn around. Drop. Hold the knees right in front of you. And just off. Oh, just drop him down from that. Nothing new, right? So here we go. Turning around to the shot. Boom. Hey.